Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here with the No Shame Income Vlog, and today I'm actually going to be doing a review of the Autonomous Ultra Wide LED Desk Lamp. So this is something that I actually decided to pick up. Um, I felt that I really needed some extra lighting inside of my um, office to really be able to help with doing videos like this one. And um, this looked like something that was really high quality. It had the desk clamp, it had the ability to um, basically increase in brightness, and it also could be flexed in terms of being able to be moved around. So I wanted to first off go through the product page today, then I'm actually going to um, switch over to my other camera and I'll show you the actual desk lamp installed on my autonomous desk, and I'll show you um, some of the different features, functionality, and we can kind of uh, make a decision, you know, was this worth the $70 that I ended up paying for it. So um, first off, before we dive into today's video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like the video. And again, if you guys decide by the time you watch the end of this video, if you really like this product, I'm actually gonna leave a link below in the description where you can pick this up. And if any of you actually purchase this through me, I will earn a little bit of a commission and I greatly appreciate that. So let's jump into today's video. All right, so I'm over on the Autonomous website and um, I just wanted to go through some of the features that they highlight with this desk lamp. Um, it's a 31.5 inch LED strip that they say is perched on a flexible 35 inch stem. Um, will light up your desk thoroughly, alternate between four different light temperatures to suit any time of day. Um, and again, it's free shipping. They do have a discount right now, but um, I'd have to check offhand what I paid. It's been a few months and I've been kind of delaying doing this review, but I really wanted to highlight this because um, I've done some other autonomous product reviews and people seem to love them. So yeah, what I wanted to do is, um, you know, really highlight, you know, what are really the features of this? Is it worthwhile? And let's kind of go through it, right? So they have all these specs. Um, you can see the input voltage, um, fairly low power usage. It's an LED, so obviously we're not going to be utilizing a lot of power. We're never going to have to replace a bulb. They have different light colors, so it goes all the way from 3000K up to 6000K. Lamp lifetime, 50,000 hours, which there's no way I'm ever going to use that amount with this light because I don't use it super frequently. Um, only weighs about 12 pounds with packaging 18, and then they give you the shipping dimensions. It's got a one-year warranty, and they do have a trial on it, which is kind of interesting. Um, one thing I will say with this particular light is for whatever reason, when I ordered it, um, they had a real delay on shipping it. In fact, it took about two months. I do not know if this is going to happen to you. As of right now, the time I'm reviewing this, it says free shipping and it will ship tomorrow. So hopefully if you guys decide to pick this up, um, you're not going to have to worry about that. So they do have some videos on here. You can see some of the different functionalities. I figured what I would do is while I have my camera on, I would flip through. Um, I actually have the light on up here um, on my desk. I wanted to flip through some of the different lights and you could see um, how it's affecting the camera and the, the actual lighting on my camera here. Um, one thing I will note is I do have my window wide open over here. Um, in fact, I might even go shut that while I've got the camera on. We can get a better feel of the light because I've got a lot of sunlight coming in. So this is now just the light. Um, in fact, I could even turn off my overhead. Um, this is literally no light on above me and I've completely blocked out the sunlight coming in. So right now it's on the blue setting. And if I come up here and actually switch, there's a little mode button. This is like the kind of almost like a yellowy orange tone light. Now we've also got, this is like one of the whitest. So you can see it looks really white. We'll do another one. And this one's like almost a different shade of white. You can actually see in the bulb, they almost put like the orange light and the white light combined. So I don't really see too, too much of a difference with that. You guys might be able to see better on the camera, but um, now if I hit it again, it should now go back to the blue light. So those are the differences. If I'm just using this light, I would say with the light alone, it's fairly still dark in the room, but um, if I really wanted to have like kind of a cool effect where it's like super pitch blackout and I wanted to have the light off and still kind of have this, um, it definitely would make the work environment feel like it's not just super dark in here with just the monitor lights coming on me. So um, anyway, let's jump over to my camera. I'm going to walk you guys through some of the different functions. I'll show you the lamp, show you how big it is. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be when I got it. And um, we'll go from there. So see you over there. 
All right, so uh, for some of you who maybe have seen my past autonomous reviews, you know that I actually have the autonomous standing desk and I went for the um, L-shaped desk, which um, has worked out really quite nicely for me in my space. Um, I'm not gonna go through too much of a desk tour here, but to give a basic idea, I have my computer stack over here in the corner. I have a 27 inch uh, monitor here in the right and a 34 inch ultra wide here in the left. And one of the biggest things that I was struggling with, I had actually bought this just regular little kind of like pedestal lamp that I was using that basically had um, a regular bulb in it that was very, very bright. And I had to put like this sleeve over it that wasn't really made for it to kind of dim it out, but still provide some extra lighting when I was doing my video recordings. And um, I said, you know what? I saw this autonomous light and I said, you know what? Why don't I pick this up? I love the other autonomous products. Of course, I'm using the Ergo chair. I'm using their standing desk. Why not pick up a light to match my desk? So one of the biggest reasons that I decided to get this was that I wanted to have something that could um, fit on the desk over, you know, basically go over these very large monitors, but not feel like it was too intrusive. Um, you can tell that this particular light was designed to actually be sitting over an ultra wide monitor just like this, because literally the length is almost the um, identical length. I found that when I first set this up, I could have very easily put it just behind my main monitor, but it kind of felt like it was in my vision. Like I didn't like seeing it overarching me. I, I really didn't like the feel of that or the way that it was looking. So I decided to actually put it off to the side and I angle it in. Um, so it still gives me some lighting coming in. Um, I can use it as needed and then it doesn't feel like it's like, you know, just kind of taking up my peripheral. Like it feels like it's overarching me while I'm sitting at the computer. So I've really liked the way I have it set up. Um, I'm not gonna like move the whole desk and get back here, but I will show you guys if I can. It basically has a clamp um, that's very straightforward. It just has a, a little bolster that you, you um, tighten and this thing is not gonna go anywhere, right? Fairly standard for one of these um, desk clamps. You can even see I have a very similar, my monitor mounting arm has a very similar desk clamp that basically can be adjusted and it's universally gonna work on just about any desk you could imagine. So the cool thing about this is this entire neck here from about the um, middle part here, this is all straight, you cannot bend anything here, but once it gets to this arc, you can actually bend this entire arm. So if I wanted to bend this, you can bend it and it will stay still wherever you go. So I've kind of had it at this angle where it's not completely down, like I don't have it facing into the monitor, but I'm able to get some light shining where I'm sitting here, it's gonna shine right at me like you guys just saw. So in terms of features, it's pretty basic, right? You can turn it on, you can turn it off. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. And then you have the different modes, which I was just going through. So this is kind of the blue light. This is that like orangish light that you guys saw. Now we have another white, and then this is kind of like a, a combo white, um, orange light. It, it comes off more white. And then of course now you can increase the brightness when you're in that particular mode. And this gets like really bright. So right now I do have a little LED light above me. And of course the shade is closed so we don't have any sunlight coming in. If I shut this off, I mean, this is producing a lot of light. So if you guys need something that's really gonna light up um, the space or light up your desk area, you're working on papers or documents or something on the desk, I mean, this thing is gonna work really well. So this is the max brightness. Let's turn it all the way down. So it actually goes pretty low. So I've really dimmed it out and you can see the difference in how much lighter this is. And then of course, anytime I wanna change, that's the blue light. We'll max this one out, see how that looks. This is a really bright one. So that, I think that's max right there. So we have a ton of light, I mean, you can see everything. I actually just cleaned the desk because I knew I'd be doing this video. But of course I can still see like all the, all the stuff going on. I can see I need to clean my monitors, there's dust everywhere. Um, that's how bright this thing is. So it works really well. I mean, even if we do another test with the light on, it's really just lit up the room. And this light, honestly, it looks bright in the video, but the, the light above me is really not that great. It doesn't help when doing videos, things like that. Whereas if I use this, it doesn't feel like it's blinding me. Um, like I can actually do a video and not feel like I've got so much light coming into my eyes that it's distracting me or giving me a headache. So overall, I think this thing is definitely worth the money. Don't have to replace the bulbs. If you wanted to move it, adjust it, you can do a lot with this neck. And then of course, all the different modes and options here are great. So um, I'm very happy with the purchase. I highly recommend it as a product. One thing again, I'll keep in mind is that when I ordered it, there was a huge delay on shipping. Um, I think it took about two months for me to get it, but it looks like according to the website now, they're in stock 
and the other reviews have been really good. So if you guys decide to pick this up, um, again, I'm going to leave a link below in the description. Um, definitely, uh, you know, appreciate it if you go through my link as I do earn some credit through Autonomous for that. And um, yeah, I, I think you guys are going to be very happy with this. Um, hope you enjoyed the review and be sure to keep on a lookout. I'm going to be doing more reviews of different products on my channel, um, talking about things like internet marketing, all sorts of different topics that I've got going on. So anyway, thanks again for watching and um, if you pick this up, definitely go through my link and I appreciate it. Thanks.